Welcome to Short Scale Modeling. This is part 14 of Tamiya's US Aircraft Carrier Enterprise, CVN 65. Scale is 1 to 350. In this part, I'm going to be uh, finishing off the island, attaching it to the deck, and uh, doing some more work on the actual deck itself. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. The first thing I have to do is uh, make up uh, what they're calling the flaps and depth. Now this sits uh, just behind or in front of the island. And it's uh, simple to put together, but first of all, I have to make up this uh, little gun thing here. And uh, the, the gun itself is just placed inside. Now this is exactly the same way that I built the initial guns uh, back in the early process of the build. But just to recap, the dome part is Tamiya's X2 white, and the rest of it is 127 Humbro US Coarse Grey. And those are the predominant colours. I also use Tamiya's X10 gunmetal for the actual gun itself. So th those are the three main colours. The uh, deck itself making up is uh, fairly straightforward. First of all, I placed on the gun. And uh, like throughout the build, this can only go in one way. Uh, the location points are such that it will only allow you to go in one way. So once the gills fit, a gun is fitted on its platform, I can then... Um, fit that platform onto the main deck or well, the flaps and deck and then after that is the back plating and the brace that will go run down onto the actual hull of the ship so as I said it's a fairly easy um, little uh, thing to make up just one or two little parts to do now there is some steps to fit in but before I do I'm just going to be painting and it's Humbra 127 US Coast Grey for the uh, main uh, paint on this. Now the reason why I'm painting it now is because once the uh, little steps go in, it'll be very difficult to paint this unit, so it's um, best to paint it now. And for the deck, it's 87 Steel Grey by Humbra. And once the paint's dry, I can then uh, fit the uh, little steps. Uh, this just uh, sits on the side. There's, Easy enough to line up. There's uh, no location points as such, but there is uh, the area to guide you in, and it should be fairly simple to fit in. So it's no time to put on some of the deck decals. Um, th these decals, uh, locations, they are not exactly clear on the deck. Now, I don't know whether that's because of the paint uh, is covering up the markings. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so um, it had to be a rough guess really where they were going to go and looking at the pictures on the um, instruction sheet as well of course um, but I was suspicion they're not 100% in the right place there's a few of these uh, little um, things that are going on I, I don't know uh, what they're for um, some markings on, on the deck um, but as, as I said I've probably got them in the wrong position but there'll be a close proximity to it anyway it's a shame that um that I couldn't see the deck in, but um uh, I I don't know. I've got a suspicion it was um uh, my painting that's covered up the mark. Some some of these marks are, are very faint on the plastic anyway on the actual mould. So it's a good chance because I have put three or four layers of paint on here. Um, it, there's a good chance they they've been uh, covered up. But of course, I needed to put that amount of paint on anyway to build up the colour. So it's um, it's a necessary process, let's say. Next to go on are the safety lines around the uh, blast shield deck protector things. Um, you may want to spend uh, a little bit more attention to these than normal. Um, just because of the, the way they go on. The, the one I've already put on there, you can see at the bottom of the picture. Um, initially, I put that on the wrong way around. Um, it should, as you can see, it should butt up against the orange and um, well, the red and yellow stripe uh, borderline. But um, I, I just started putting them on and realised I thought I'd, I'd lost a, a part of the um, decal because it didn't quite make up, uh, make up the rectangle. Then... I realised that it should have been and butted up against the actual markings I painted. So I mean that was my mistake. It's only a small mistake and um, took a little time to 
uh, fix up, but you know, I had to soften up the decal again. Luckily, I hadn't varnished at this point. But the um, apart from that, they they, they went on um, fairly straight uh, standard. They are thin decals as well, so they are prone to uh, breaking if you're not going to be uh, extra careful with them. But overall, there's not that many decals to actually go onto the deck itself. Now, normally I would vanish before putting these decals on, uh, but I haven't done it uh, this time around. Uh, the reason is, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be placing things on at the moment. So, I decided instead of spending um, quite a bit of time mapping out everything, and know where I'm going to place on this stage, I wanted the decals on. So I forgot the uh, vanishing first. And I thought if I do get any silvering, um, I'll be easy enough to paint over because I'm going to be weathering this deck. So it won't be so bad. In the end, I didn't get any silvering. I got away with it. But really, I, I should have vanished it beforehand. I took a bit of a risk there. So that's the decals on. And it's now time to place the flaps and deck on. Um, this was a joy to fit. There's a little indentation on the deck for the uh, two edges to join up together. And once I got the main edge to join up, I just pressed down on the lower part where the uh, straps uh, put on to the hull. And I just saw it there. And once I was on, I just scraped away the air, the paint from uh, the area where the actual island's got to go. And there was just a couple of passes, passes with my blade just to key the area, getting ready for the attachment. I put the cement on the tower itself and not the deck because I didn't want that to spread. And um, once I'd done that, it's just a matter of placing that one over the location area. It fitted in beautifully, there, there, there was no problems. Um, you may have to press it on a little bit firmly to put it on, uh, but you shouldn't have any uh, major problems with it. You will want to give it a good amount of time though to dry before you carry on with the next stage of the build. I'm now going to varnish the deck and I'm using Pledge Clear Varnisher or Polish and um, I'm going to be putting on quite a thick uh, layer on the model initially. A lot of this will be taken off but uh, that's uh, because of the weathering process but I won't get into that, I won't really explain that until I start the weathering. So this is going to take quite a while to dry once the varnish is on. This is only the first coat. I'll put on another coat after this. Um, as I say, I want a nice thick layer on because that will be essential for protecting the deck on the weathering stage. Now onto the stand. I actually um, put this together a few days ago, so the event was slightly out of sequence here. Um, I just forgot to include it in one of the videos, but it's just a short thing. So initially, the two halves were placed together, then I, I primed them in red, and once that was dried, I'm using the same colour as the hull, so that is level of colour 331 purple red. Now this is a bit of a short video compared to the rest, but basically this is me all caught up. I haven't uh, done the weathering of the deck yet, this is going to be my next job after I've edited this video. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell, that way you'll be kept up to date, not only with this build, but all my other builds as well, of course. Hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment, and of course, you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.